mayors from across the nation meeting with DHS Secretary John Kelly over the crackdown on sanctuary cities as liberals launch brand new initiatives to defy the president. Marianne Rafferty is live for us from Los Angeles with what we can expect next in the heated debate. Good morning, Marianne. Good morning, Heather and Abby. Well, as that debate over whether or not to protect illegals drags on, mayors from around the country head to Washington for a closed-door meeting today. Department of Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly speaking with police chiefs and also leaders of so-called sanctuary cities who are determined to keep that status. Now, these discussions come as Attorney General Jeff Sessions takes aim at sanctuaries, threatening to pull funding for any state or local governments that refuse to comply with federal immigration laws. Some leaders are already defying the orders. Sacramento is open to anyone who wants to pursue the California and American dream. It doesn't change in the way we do in business in Boston. We're going to continue to be an open, inclusive city. And that's not all. The mayor of New York City demanding ICE agents stay off of school grounds unless they have a warrant. And the governor of Vermont signing a new law limiting police involvement with the feds. Also in Massachusetts, a state representative there using Facebook to tip illegals off to upcoming ICE raids. But as many sanctuary cities remain defiant, others are backing President Trump, claiming sanctuary cities make America less safe. Our role is not to enforce immigration laws. We don't intend to start enforcing immigration laws. This distorted mindset shows a complete lack of respect for the law, and it cannot go unchallenged. Now, city leaders are, however, getting support from some congressional leaders. That includes Senate Minority Leader J Chuck Schumer, who's praising efforts to push back against the White House. Abby, Heather. All right. Marianne Rafferty, live for us. Thank you, Marianne. Thanks.